Do you want to create text animation like this? Then you are at right place. In this After Effects tutorial, we will create this fade in and fade out text without using any third party plugin. So let's begin. Alright, so right now I'm in After Effects and we will begin by creating a new composition. Let's call this one main. Width and height 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps, and duration you can pick whatever you want. Just click on OK. Now let's create our text. So select the text tool and you can use whatever font you want. I am using this Cobalt regular font. So just click and type whatever you want. I'm going to type, hey, how are you? Now let's align it to the center using the align panel. And if you're not able to see the align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it. Now let's make its anchor point in the center. So in order to do that, select the layer, hold on the control key and double click on this to make the anchor point in the center. Now, once you are done with your text, you can probably scale this down. So let's select this, press S and I'm going to just scale it something like that. So once you're happy with your text, we are ready to do the animation. So in order to do that, just open up the text and go to animate and we are going to animate its opacity. So just select the opacity. Now let's select this opacity and I'm going to set this to zero. Now we can play around with the animation by opening up the range selector. And from here, we are going to use the offset property to make the text appear. So I'm going to set this to zero. Let's add a keyframe and I'm going to go to somewhere around one second. Let's make this 100. So now you can see we have the text appearing, something like that. Now we want this text to start disappearing from this side. So in order to do that, we are going to create another instance of this effect. So for that, just go to animate and we're going to add one more opacity. And on this one, we are going to set this to zero again. And for this one, we are going to play around with this offset once again. But this time I'm going to animate it from negative 100 to zero. So just pick a point where you want this text to dis start disappearing. So you can add a keyframe and let's go to somewhere around here. And I'm going to set this to zero. So here you can see we have this one keyframe going from 0 to 100 and the second one going from negative 100 to 0. So now if I play back here you can see we have this text coming up and after that it goes away. So before we proceed a lot of you watching right now have not subscribed to my channel and I want you to please do that because I want to hit 100k subscriber this year on my channel. So make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's continue. So you can play around with the position of these keyframes however you want if you want these text to just like come and go something like this then you can make these closer otherwise you can just place it somewhere around here just like this so let's move it something like that so you can select the keyframes press f9 to ease them or right click go to keyframe assistant ease them now once you're done with this we can do a little bit of easing so open up the advanced settings and set the ease low to something like negative 100 let's open up the advanced settings and i'm going to set the ease low to negative 100 as well so if I play back, here you can see we have this animation, which looks good. Now we can create more copies of this to have outline as well. So now to do that, let's select this and I'm going to press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on this one, we are going to disable the fill. So for that, you can go under the characters panel and just click on this. So you can see that it will disable the fill and we have the stroke option over here. From here, if you want to change the color of stroke, you can do that. And once you're done with this, you can play around with the stroke width from here. You can just set this to whatever you want. Let's set this to something like 2.5. Perfect. So now we can go back in the beginning and I'm going to select the bottom layer and we can just offset this. So let's make it over here. So now if I play back, here you can see first we have this outline coming in and after that we have this fill layer just like this. So we are done with this. Now, if you want to add more text, then you can just simply select both of them, then press Ctrl D to duplicate them and let's move them to the top. Now you can change the second text. So I'm going to just select this and let's type this is text. Make sure to change the text on both the layers. So now I have changed the text on both the layers. So you can see that we have these two layers. Now just play around with their position and we have something like this. So you can see that we have one text coming in and then it goes out then the second text comes in. Now if you want to play around with their speed then you can select any of these two layers then press U and you can see that we have all the keyframes. Now I'm going to select everything then hold on the Alt key or Option key on Mac then just simply select the last keyframe and you can just make them faster something like this. Make sure to extend this layer. Now if I play back, you can see that now it is much faster. Now if I want to make this slower and I can just simply move them further away. So now if I play back here, you can see now this is much slower. So in this way, you can just play around with their position. 
You can also add some scaling animations to this. So for that, I'm going to create a null object. And now we can parent these two layers. So let's select this and parent it to the null. Now I'm going to select the null object and let's add a keyframe for scale by pressing S, P for position, then press U to see both the keyframes. Now we can move it somewhere around here. In the beginning, I'm going to change the scale and I am going to increase it. Also, I'm going to move it to the right side so that we have this sort of animation. Now we can select both the keyframes, press F9, then go to the graph. Now if your graph looks different, make sure you are using the speed graph and you can just play around with the curves and you can make it however you want. So here you can see we have created this very nice zooming in animation. Now you can play around with scale position however you want. So this is how you can create these kind of animations. Now you can sync them to any voice and you have this amazing animation. So this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on Patreon. So if you're supporting me over there, then you can download it from there. And if you're not, then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So with that being said, my name is Abhishek and I'll see you in the next one.